and please like my dad's channel. And subscribe. And hit that subscribe button and, and hit that bell. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 198720 bringing you another episode of my Let's Talk About series. And today we're going to do my review of the Major League Baseball, the show 2022 for the Nintendo Switch. Guys, I got this game. I, I, I play sports games, but I get them in drifts and drafts because I'm not one of those people that need each year. It's uh, not me. And this review is going to be on the offline mode only, not on the online mode. I will not give a review on the online mode as I never played any of the online mode. I predict that online mode is going to be okay based on your internet speed. Don't quote me. I never played the online mode and I refuse to. Anyways, Major League Baseball, the show for the Nintendo Switch, was a shocker just to even be announced for the Nintendo Switch since it is a PlayStation exclusive. Now, saying that, I was a little bit torn because. Do I get this for the PS5 or the Nintendo Switch? Well, in my mind, I get, if it's available for the Nintendo Switch, well, I buy it for the Nintendo Switch. So, let's get into this game now, guys. This game, just playing this game, franchise mode, um, your career mode, and that's what I'm doing with my career mode. Um, the game is pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Graphics look freaking pretty damn good. I'm not going to look at the game just to see the sweat pours on the guy or anything like that because I'm not. It's not what I made the, it's not what I played the game for. I played the game for fun. Graphically, this is pretty darn good graphics. Uh, Cutscenes are amazingly done on this game. Now the background graphics, yeah, they are alright but who's paying attention to the people in the stands? Not this guy. Uh, controls for this game, pretty straightforward. You can do really well in this game if you listen to your pitcher. Now batting, it's fun. It's really fun. And you can, depending on how good your uh, your, uh, your button A skills are, or your uh, button B skills are, you can really drive those uh, balls pretty damn good. But it's a team game, and that's all it comes down to. It's a team game. The commentary on it, it's alright. It's interesting at first, but then it gets boring. They gotta do better with the commentary. Add more commentary in it. Funny commentary, bad commentary. You know, just a little more. So it's not freaking um, on repeat for every game you play. You can hear the same old shit over and over again. Music for this game is low key. You don't really notice it, or at least I don't notice it. Uh, graphically, pretty good, good game. Any sports fan, the baseball fans, out there will definitely love this game if they buy it for the Nintendo Switch or Xbox or PlayStation whatever consoles that are available this overall game is damn good and it's my first one since I don't know since the series first came out but I really enjoyed it and I know baseball fans will really enjoy it and I love that the roster updates every time you turn on the console so you don't have to switch people out. It automatically switches if there's a trade or something like that. Update it. Roster. Every time you sign in. Nothing wrong with that. So why would you get the next model? If they're currently continuing to update, update the roster. Sorry about that. I'm tripping over my own words today. But I, would, I recommend this to anybody. People that just want to try a baseball game, get this game. People that are hardcore baseball fans, get this game. And just have fun and enjoy. Do your thing when playing this game. You'll love it. And I recommend it to anybody that likes sports games, especially baseball fans. But what are your opinions? What are your opinions? Please leave them down in the comments below. Until, until then, further ado... Um, Phoenix1987 saying, I hope you guys have a good day, a good evening, good afternoon, peace.